let's hope for a generation. Let's hope for the church that will catch the fire. The church will, will go back to those holiness was the holiness of the fashionable thing. The Lord says that holiness is still right. God is going to raise people who are so legit, who are so pure, who are so real, not pretenders. Live the life purity and holiness. God is going to raise them. And most people God told me is going to raise in this generation are the people who have been outcast or rejected, kind of. People who had issues of life that caused them to be despised by the community. These are people who has caught up in seeing the past life. That see they were found in bars, they were found in clubs, found humanizing, found with many men and stuff like that, having a lifestyle that was so terrible and exposed to the community. And when they be sleep, then the Lord said that I am going to fetch the most despised in the community. <laughs> it's going to be an awesome journey. While God told me about 2023, going to be very busy in the spirit realm. There will be a lot of activity in the spirit in the spirit world. A lot of Christians are going to be exposed to one of the things that God is going to do, or that God has broken loose. It's a portal of encounters. People are going to literally encounter God in their homes, even in schools, even in workplaces. Angels will appear. That not only one person will see that vision or that creature but almost everyone in the building. The days are coming, and this coming year, when the Lord comes to move in the church, He's not going to come to touch two people, where the two people will be falling under the power of God and the unknown power. The Lord will be sweeping. You know what? why God is doing that? He wants to raise masses. He wants to increase His army. But hear this. God is going to cause people who will return off. The most the most despised now, the most ignored now, you will be running to them next year. Watch me, watch it. I thought I did not really catch it well, but God gave me a glimpse. God told me that, let me grace, man, I'm going to put you into a place of influence as well, that is so strong and that is so heavy, that your place of influence, people who are honorable, the leaders, prominent business people, are going to sit down to listen to the wisdom and the counsel of the Holy Spirit for you. And the Lord said that I will give you a sign of what I'm talking about. Boom. The Lord opened the door and I went to BTV to share the message. The message I, I was sharing on BTV is relevant for our generation. God will sweep through this generation. There will be notable miracles and creative miracles. Where people without ear flaps, ear flaps will appear. Sounds impossible, but it is possible. And it will be possible and it will happen right in your sight. In Botswana here, you will see scars disappearing. You will see tattoos. Days are coming. You will see the reality of these things in a higher magnitude. But hear what God is saying. The Lord said, My name has been put in the mud. People are thinking that things are being faked. People are thinking that the church is brief. The Lord is saying that in 2023, I, the Lord, I am going to invade this generation to an extent that some people will see angels appearing in the physical form like it appeared in the book of Acts, chapter number 12. When he was in the courts and he was stoned, the Bible said that his face turned into an angel. The people who were stoning him saw the face of an angel when Peter was in prison. When Stephen was, the Lord says that there are creatures that will be released from the heavens that will begin to walk among men. It is impossible before men, but it is possible before God. We will hear testimonies of women, lots of women who are over 40 years being pregnant. The Lord is saying the law of monopause will be violated in the coming year. Why? The Lord is saying that. There is a breed of prophets that is being cooked in the heavens. And this breed of strange prophets, prophets like John the Baptist, prophets who will prophesy the moment that they start learning how to talk. And most of them will be on TV platforms at a younger age, giving prophecies and speaking shocking things that comes to pass. The Lord is saying, there will be, there is a breed of prophets that is being brewed in the heavens that are not yet born. But these prophets, are going to land in wombs that are worn out. These prophets are going to land in wombs that has been rendered useless. Some women who don't have wombs, who you know that their wombs were removed from the hospitals, you'll be shocked when you see them pregnant because there's an army, a breed, hybrid prophets that are going to be released. So next year, I know you. some of you will forget, you will remember when these things happened. Next year, open your eyes and your ears. You will hear a lot of people who are over 40 years testifying, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. It will be like this. It will be, it will be a trend. Not as, it will be a trend. 
and newspapers will share this news. These are the prophets that are coming. Will be prophets that will speak to chief, to presidents, and they will not be ignored. They will be scary prophecy. There's hope for Christianity. It's not over. Forget about the scandals. They have already happened. The, the scandals have already happened. But the name of the Lord was never in a mud. This season that was that looked like terrible to the spiritual, it was a season of preparation. What is coming afterwards? You will literally see the manifestation of the supernatural. Believers will be gathered in Roman Catholic, in UCCSA, and the Holy Spirit will shoot through these churches. They will begin to pray in tongues. Goroma, Kolundu, the Holy Spirit will sweep around. They will begin to pray. There is a great wave that is coming. The hand of God will be seen. Days are coming where we will be in prayer, deep prayer, where some of you, your hair will turn gray. Your hair will turn gray in the presence. The glory of God clothing you that even your physical hair will turn gray instantly all over. And when people look at you, even when the dust will be feeling such experiences. And this why uh, God's grace has been availed.